his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Found my cart yet? Cart tracks rode off into the swamp. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. I should take a look around. An arrow. Didn't mention this. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. And you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar.
That's it, Roach. Humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Hey there. Faster. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Gloire in our fields. Very gloire. Oh! I would be really such a washing. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Show me what you're battling.
Morel holding up around him? Ah, a spy after all. Neither. Just... Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. you. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. 
then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this, but I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Come on. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. 
But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like... There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. Ms. Love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. I'll show you, sure, but, uh, I got a... Will you help? That is, if you don't mind... Blades don't worry me. Time does. I can't fault you for it. Griffin, know anything about it? No, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... 
Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to... Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into it hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area.
I know. Whoa. Greetings. A witcher? You see the notice? Hear about the well? A well? First I've heard. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for twenty. So why do you put it? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle is turned noxious. We don't... Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? This ghost. Well, it's... I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress. Some wraith. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it. That... Fine, I'll help. In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's... Zemir. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison. And the bands that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, said it. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor, hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they... It's always the same. Instead of sending for a profession. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to... Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of root good. Me...
take it easy. We meet again. Thank you for saving. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known your... So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes... Let me have a look at your stuff. Take care. Stream, amber waves of grain, charming place, perfect for an amber. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will sp Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the... So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well... Speaking of winter and wintering... Think you'll come? Maybe. What 
now, you piece of filth. Damn! It's fast! could stand to improve some things. For example? Upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Let's go!
That's it, Roach. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. Oh, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle, Hag. It was no act. I extended a hand. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja! <laughs> a moralist. And Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your... To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you... Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. We have much work to do here. Quite a Oh! The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Oh! Are you here to... Show me where you... Show me where you're battling. So long. Are you here to spy? Show me. So long.
Happened here. Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice one. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. Sorry. Any suspect? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their gap. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. I can find your arsonist. Provide. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. I went out to see if I could find any tracks, but I found nothing. But then I haven't got a Winds howling. Box. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, who then fled through the orchard man's. Large.
Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Not good. Lost his boots in the rush. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. I ain't talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the... Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold. You don't turn... Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. Got a lump of bread today! Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg... I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. Not what this is about, mate. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. Harsh is punishment. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. A return customer. Show me where you get...
so long. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists to... Don't see any enough guardian. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Geralt. We should stay... What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. 
Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs> This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your... Tilt your head back, please. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat.
Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners... Nice meeting you too. The no. He himself is very much against the grain, that's... Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilf. The gentleman will tell me once he has... This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. The gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. Yes. It's a saying. So... No need. The gentleman... The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I'm not some bull. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I... Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's press? I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am... Hmm... Lacking fluidity? Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer eb do orde. Avelian nomen vat gern favot.
so many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri, do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war? I think anyone can be wrong. Even... I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yet... How many men in your army? So why me? You know why. Because... She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. For reasons of state. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Take him to the sorceress. Understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had the temperatures of etiquette for one day. She cannot to be. Calm yourself. What? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elf. Oh! Not only am I made to wait here like some unnamed. Rad sleeping at Enect is tun is the sour unnamed fire. Es ist die Efsa. Er findet sein Leben. Er ist so wat gern. Er ist rein wat gern. Wat gern. Es ist klar, kein Weg rein er da. Und so viel den Dach. Es ist blend kein Weg nur mal. And selfie then sick yeah. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Sharp in the end. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novi. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. That. She's... It's been years since you trained together at camp. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, Haruspasi. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. 
If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Bef so where's Ciri been seen? In two places. Vel the trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of... All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with... Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I... T Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero or... I shall be waiting.